Good day, hobbyist. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's vlog, we are going to use the rainwater for my Corridoras breeding. <laughs> Shout out to all my subscribers around the world and if you want to know more how to breed different kind of ornamental fishes and if you're new to my channel don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the bell button for you to be notified for my new videos. Rainwater is safe for the fish yes uh, rainwater is very safe in fish keeping but it depends okay probably in some place uh, they are experiencing uh, acid rain but here in our place we don't have acid rain okay so the rainwater that i uh, keep is very safe in uh, fish breeding and fish keeping so the rainwater that I have just uh, gathered last night, I will uh, be using it in breeding my uh, Corridoras catfish. So in order to make sure that your uh, rainwater is safe, you need a, a, a pH test kit. Before you use your rainwater, just be sure that it is safe. It is not acidic. It is uh, alkaline it is in a higher range here in uh, this tank are my corridoras and here also are corridoras the fry of my corridoras and here is the danios long fin danios so when it rains I uh, remove 50% of this uh, water and I replace it with the rainwater. Just uh, to make sure, test first your uh, rainwater. If it is uh, acidic or it is alkaline or it is uh, neutral. Okay. So when it is uh, in a higher range, it is uh, safe to use rainwater for breeding corridoras, danios, and many other kind of ornamental fish now this is the uh, rainwater I'm going to replace this to my uh, corridora breeders Rain is a uh, soft water, so Corridoras, Danios, Tetras loves to breed on a soft water, just like rain water. that 50% uh, water change with the uh, rainwater hopefully this uh, breeder corridoras will uh, breed this week so we will try to see if we will lay egg within this week or probably next week and I will collect more uh, rainwater this week for next week we will uh, breed this uh, uh, long fin danio okay, with uh, rainwater if you're new to my channel and you want to learn more about fish keeping, fish breeding, don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the bell button for you to be notified for my new videos. So once again, thank you so much for watching my videos and see you next time.